And we have made it to the great state of Kentucky. And you may be asking yourself, Michael, why are you in Kentucky? I thought you were going on an elaborate vacation. And the short answer is yes, we are. But first, one of my close friends is getting married in Lexington. And that is why we are here first before we take a trip to Europe, which you probably know by the title of the video where we're going. All right, it's day two of our crazy travel week. Last time I we went out to rehearsal dinner for Wes and Lauren's party because they're getting married today. But since we're traveling to Europe tomorrow, we had to find a COVID test somewhere in this area so that we can have a negative result within 72 hours of getting there. So now we're at the local Kroger. Shout out Little Clinic for the pre-COVID testing here. And uh, we're gonna do this, go to brunch, and then we have the wedding at 4 p.m. today. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Say hello. hello. And we are back at the Kentucky Airport. Or not the Kentucky Airport, the Lexington Airport. I then So excited. Okay, so we were in Lexington all weekend for an absolutely incredible wedding for my good buddy from med school who was also in my wedding. And we had a great time hanging out with all of our prior med school classmates, all that stuff. And now we're taking a long flight. First stop is in Chicago. And from then we go to Italia. All right, so we made it barely onto this flight. Now we're headed to where are we headed first? Frankfurt. Frankfurt, Germany first, and then Bologna, Italy. I cannot wait to finally get there. Only eight hours stands between us and two stops. This is our second and third flight, by the way. I'll see you in Germany. For the second I try to start talking, this guy comes over there and I come. I'll wait. Alright, so I am in the Bologna Central Train Station. Alright, so I am in the Bologna Central. No! Alright, I am in the Bologna Central Train Station. Just got here. Just, just flew in from. Where did I stop over? Oh, Frankfurt. Flew into Bologna, waited for our special guest to arrive, which is, I'll show you soon. We hopped on a bus, came down to the central train station. Now we're taking a train over to Florence, which is about like 40 minutes away on the high-speed rail. So that's what we've been doing. Three flights, one bus, one train, final destination, Florence for tonight. That's where we'll be staying for the next few days. If you can tell, I'm tired. I've basically... If you can tell, I've been up for some 24 hours now. Jesus, this guy does not shut up. So I've been up for like 24 hours now and uh, a little tired, but trying to push through and uh, get some sleep tonight. All right, so it is our first night in Florence and we we're going out. Made a mistake of taking a nap when we got here, which is something I say I never do, but this is our special guest coming around the corner at some Not point. <laughs> Not you. Coming around the corner. God, I look so tired, but I haven't slept in probably 24 hours, probably 36 hours actually. So I took a little nap and now we're gonna go out because you know, you're in Florence. You gotta make the most of it. You gotta make the tired most. Tired or not. You gotta make the most of your time here and we're going out, grab some cocktails in Florence. Special guest has arrived. <laughs> Ma's here. Look how beautiful it is in Florence. What part of Florence? Like Florence Square, I guess? It's like I think one of the, um, what are they called? Piazzas, kind of? Oh yeah, like a piazza. Beautiful, it's like 65 degrees out. Oh, this is like the perfect weather. Couldn't ask for a better night so like far. not humid. As long as the rain doesn't come in. Yes. Italy is not made for heels, y'all. <laughs>
All right, so it has been a pretty crazy day today. Not that crazy, actually, hold on. All right, so yeah, it's been a pretty fun day, not a pretty crazy day. We basically went around. So funny thing is, last night we took a nap, forced ourselves to go out, battle the jet lag, so we could experience Florence. Had some cocktails, had a good time. Problem is, we came back at like 12, 12.30, and we literally slept until 11.53 this morning. I haven't slept for 12 hours since I was like 15. So we rushed out of bed and basically spent the entire day walking around. Ma, my mother-in-law, got her hair cut and at a local spot that she got recommended from last night. We went to like, you know, a couple of designer stores, been walking around, and now I'm about to go see the Cellini statue, the Benvenuto Cellini statue from like who knows how long ago. But then tonight we're gonna go out for dinner and uh, tomorrow off to Tuscany. Oh, and of course, my wife and mother-in-law are in the uh, Gucci Museum. No surprise there. top of the morning it is another new day here in Florence we are just up and about it's a little chilly today around high 50 degrees Fahrenheit we're searching for a nice little cat beach coffee spot and now we are going wine tasting all right so we had a little bit of wine private wine tour and uh, I think we're gonna continue. Mama had a lot of wine. Yeah. Which chin. I never drink wine. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. All right, back in the Airbnb. Had a good time. Bam, I'm, I'm YouTubing. <laughs> had a fantastic time, ate pizza, drank too much wine, but the night is still young. It is still like 7 p.m. here. So just got back to the Airbnb and we might as well go out and enjoy the town a little more because this might be essentially our last night in Florence because we're going to Cinto Terre tomorrow and then we're going to Bologna on Saturday. So might as well make the most of it and enjoy our lovely time in Florence. Ferenza. Also, this is our Airbnb since you haven't seen it. For some reason in Europe, I don't get hotels because I don't think they're worth it. You're never in your hotel room because you're always exploring and the Airbnbs are way cheaper. And who needs the amenities when you're in Europe? You're walking around doing things and always on the go. So you might as well just enjoy an Airbnb for like $120 a night versus like $400 a night at a hotel room. There's no reason to spend it. Plus you get a whole kitchen. We have two bathrooms, two bedrooms. Can't ask for anything more. And buongiorno. We're about to start a pretty decent sized trip over to uh, Cinque Terre. All right, first stop on the trip to Cinque Terre. You may think we're crazy because we took the train from Florence to Cinque Terre, but it's kind of just fun to do so, even though we're just going for a day trip and it's like a three hour train ride, but it's still fun because you get to connect different cities. We are now in Pisa and we're waiting for the next train to go to La Spezia. And from La Spezia, we go to Cinque Terre. I had a coffee, so I'm a little more happy than I was earlier. So we'll see how the day goes. I'm really excited about today. Baby, are you excited about today? So excited. <laughs> What's crazy is we were just in Vernazza, one of the five towns of Cinque Terre, but now we are in Matarossa, and it is completely different, which is crazy. The other one's kind of like a little port with oh, cute yeah. buildings. This is purely a beautiful beach right off of the train. The train is right here. The beach is right here. Beautiful beach. Look at this. I want you to take a picture of me right here. I love this. Do we want this flower? You may do what? Picture me. This flower. Picture time. 
final leg on the journey for the final five towns. Viva Major. What's your favorite? I think, um, what's my favorite? Maranola? Maranola? Yeah. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. Alright, so a kind man from Oregon just paid one euro for me to use the restroom. That was very nice of him, so a shout out to him. If you ever watch this video, you probably won't, but thank you very much, you saved me. My bladder was full. But we are officially done with Cinque Terre. Saw four out of five towns. Now we are heading back to Florence, have our last dinner in Florence, and then tomorrow we go to Bologna. So another hour and a half train ride, and uh, we'll be back in Florence. And we're back at the train station. Same outfit, different day, different train. to Bologna and we stopped at a random pharmacy to get COVID tests, which we need to do back into the USA. All right, so it is our last night in Bologna. We have enjoyed it. Or last night in Italy in general. Oh yeah, last night in Italia in general. We have enjoyed it very much so. Too much. Too much. Probably gained about 10 pounds, but YOLO had a great time. We are basically, what is it like? Going for our last gelato. Yeah, last gelato, had an aperitivo, went and had a nice dinner with some wine, and now we have and to of finish course, off. Pasta. Yeah, and a pasta. I literally had bolognese I twice. Eat any vegetables all the time. I haven't had a vegetable in at least a week, which is great. I know. Which so, is great. So now, get some gelato and call it a night. We have to wake up early and fly back to the United States. COVID tests are negative. Oh yeah, and those COVID tests we got were negative, which is great because the last thing you want is to be forced to quarantine in Italy. I mean, actually, that wouldn't be so bad. Actually, it's not a bad plan, but I don't think my work would appreciate that, especially since I just started. Also, might I add, Bologna on a Saturday is popping. Like, Literally crazy. People, as far as I can see, crazy, but in a good way. We are gonna grab some gelato and uh, probably finish the night in our last night in Italy and uh, see you in the morning. Ciao. Get the same oh, Ciao. <laughs> ciao. Ready, baby? Uh, no. Really quiet here. First thing in the morning. I know I look tired, but I'm going to severely, severely miss this place. Great Airbnb, by the way, for anybody who's looking to spend time in Bologna. It's like seven o'clock in the morning right now, headed to the airport, gonna get this long day of travel underway. Also, might I add, best bag ever, Delroy. Highly recommend this bag. Look how good it looks. It fits everything you ever need. I know my favorite thing about international travel. We're flying Lufthansa, nobody at the ticket counter. It's a good start to the day. I barely made it on our plane in Frankfurt. Well, not on the plane yet, but currently boarding. And uh, see you in Jersey. All right, so I need to know, would you want shrimp cocktail on a plane for an appetizer? Is that like appetizing to anybody? At least we got on a plane? Yeah, at least we got wine. All right, so that officially concludes our trip to Lexington and then to Frankfurt and then to Italy. We are now back in the great state of New Jersey, home waiting for our luggage to come down the carousel. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more travel vlogs like this, let me know in the comments below. Sorry for looking so terrible, just had a long international flight and as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel and Andreana. Andreana. Yeah. Say goodbye. Bye. Go follow me 
subscribe to her channel, link in the description below. If you like this video, I'll do another one, because we'll probably be doing somewhere pretty soon, because now we have the travel itch. Even though this COVID stuff is like such a pain to do, nonetheless, we're going somewhere, probably in like three weeks. Stay tuned. See ya.